Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross. Watcher, please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Pisces, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So what I'm seeing here is that there's somebody in your energy. Take it how it resonates. This could be you or somebody in your energy. I'm more so feeling like it's somebody in your energy. We do have Pisces. We have Scorpio here. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. We have Cancer. We have Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, fire energy here. Um, I feel like there's somebody in your energy um, that you may have connected with at some point who is releasing somebody, okay? This person is possibly releasing a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sag. Um, sorry, guys, I didn't mean to shake the camera. Um, they are releasing someone who it's like they're giving up on a situation. They've had a wake up call in regards to that person. They've made some type of final decision. Like they're, they're done. They're like, it's like a done deal with somebody. Like maybe they were indecisive one, two, three on the camera. As I'm saying this, maybe at some point they were indecisive about whether or not they wanted to completely throw on the towel when it came to another situation. Um, but it's like something is happening where they're having some type of wake up call or awakening to something. Um, they're reevaluating a situation and it's like, they're calling like judgment on a situation. They're completely closing it out. Um, and because it's like, they're realizing that this situation is a blockage for them. Um, I feel like they feel like it's not going anywhere or they, it's just not going to be something that can progress. Or it's like, they feel like whoever that person is, is working against them. For some of you, they're finding out that whoever this queen of wands was or is, is work has been working against them and trying to block them. Um, so I do see that they're making the decision to release that situation. They're gaining a new perspective about this person. Um, they could also be gaining a new perspective about you now that you are stepping into some type of independent and confident energy, self-assured energy. Um, I do feel like they put you through a lot. They definitely have put you in a third party situation. I definitely see that here. You, they definitely have been putting you in a third party situation. Um, I almost feel like for some of you, this person was trying to keep you as a friend or kind of keep you in like a non-conventional type relationship. Okay. They were trying to like have like a situation ship that, or whatever it was, friends of benefits or whatever it was just to kind of keep you there. Okay. To keep you from completely throwing in the towel when it came to them and keep you from moving on. Um, I definitely feel like it was necessary for, I feel like you guys stood your ground. I feel like some of you guys are aware that this person had another person or that they were maybe putting something before you. And I definitely feel like you guys started standing your ground when it came to this person. Okay. I do feel like, um, this person hasn't been ready. Okay. To take this leap of faith with you or have this new beginning with you. Um, mostly due to their self-limiting beliefs. Okay. They're, they just haven't been ready. They're immature. They're childlike. Um, I feel like spirit is saying here, you know, as far as, let's see. So as far as what's going on with this person, they're in the process of clearing out some type of negative ancestral patterns, like things that were passed down, but don't even, it doesn't even have to date all the way back to their ancestors. Right. Or it could be some type of ancestral karma, but like more so what I'm getting from this is that like, they're in the process of like unlearning everything and all the toxic ways of being and habits and everything that they picked up childhood wounds that they picked up throughout their childhood and through their, throughout their life. And they're like in the process of like relearning almost. And it's like this energy of spirit saying, don't try to rush this. This all has to happen in a certain timing. Um, it's actually best that this isn't happening right now. Um, I do see that they, they had, they feel like you guys can be a power couple. Okay. I feel like they are le releasing this situation or whatever this is to be able to have this power couple dynamic with you in the future. Okay. It says they see that you both have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. All right. We have battle of the wits. So it's like, sorry guys, something is in my eyeball. It's almost like been a power struggle between you and this person. It says, you guys are both guarded in some way. 
until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. Yeah, and we have uprooting. So it says, yeah, they're leaving all that is familiar to them, a long-term relationship or to start. It says they're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. So it's like they're going through like a lot of upheaval or they're going to be going through a lot of upheaval, okay? Um, in regards to how this person is feeling about you, this person's keeping tabs on you. They're watching you. They're watching your social media if they have access to that. They're feeling very pressured at this time. I feel like they're watching you and it's like they're feeling pressure because they know that at this time, I told you, I, I get this energy that this person's going to try to get you or they, this is what they've been doing up until this point is like, they may like leave you alone for a while and they may watch you from afar for a while, but they maybe at some point decide to come towards you. Um, because it's like, this person kind of wants you to wait on them. I'm gonna be honest with you, especially with the three of wands. Yeah. The seven of wands, the world, like you guys may have, like, you guys may be trying to manifest something else for yourselves right now and standing your ground. But it's like with the wheel word, the world in reverse, this isn't over between you and this person. I feel that like they are definitely releasing something here, releasing some burdens to, and they're, it's kind of taken some time with the, the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. They're moving towards you slowly. Okay. Um, but whatever they're coming in with, it's going to be stable. Um, it looks like, but it's like, they're feeling very pressured by what, like them watching you stresses them out because it's making them feel like, you know. I feel like this person may feels like they're losing you or like whatever, whatever they're seeing from watching you or observing you or getting information on you is making them feel very, very pressured. It's like they want you to be more understanding of what they've got going on or what's happening with them. And like they know that at this time, they're really not capable of giving you what it is that you desire and that you deserve. They're not capable of giving you something solid. They feel like with the Knight of Pentacles at some point they will be able to give that to you. Like they're working towards actively being able to offer that to you, but it's not in the present. But it's like, at the same time, this person knows that you set some type of boundary and you're, you're, you know, they can't force you to wait on them or, you know what I mean? They can't put you on hold. You know what I mean? Like they, I feel like this person feels like you're moving on. Yeah. Right. As I do that, I cut the deck and the five cups in reverse is here. So it's like, they feel like you're starting to heal and recover and move on with your life. And that actually makes this person very nervous because that they feel like the more you heal and move on with your life, the less of a chance they have to be able to have that, that stable, whatever they want with you, that power couple dynamic. Okay. So it's like, they really, they really would ideally like you to be patient with them, but they know that that's not something that they can um, expect of you. But yeah, they definitely have somebody else here, like heavy third party energy here. And I feel like for, like I said, a lot of you, I feel like, you know, of this person, it says they're involved with someone else who they feel obligated to. So they may be staying in that situation because of an obligation. They feel like they have to. They feel like that's what they have to do. Um, but this person's about to be going through, like I said, a lot of upheaval. It says they've, they've been really resistant to releasing this other person in this other situation when I feel like the universe has been nudging them to do so. They're very stubborn. So it says too stubborn to change. There will be a divine intervention after hitting rock bottom and your angels and your ancestors and their angels and their ancestors have something to possibly do about that. And spirit says, you got to kind of let this person go through this shit that they're about to go through. Okay. So we have clear the air. So just know that at some point this person is going to come in and want to like kind of clear the air with you, um, tell you the truth about some things, tell you the things that they never told you. Um, this person, it's kind of killing them to hold back their true feelings from you. Like if it's, it's hard for them to not express this to you. It says a lot was left unsaid. They can no longer hide the way that they feel about you. I forgot to draw. Um, yeah. And like we have new beginning on the back of the deck. So it says they hope to get the relationship off the ground and give it a fair chance. Um, what was behind that? I want to see something. Yeah. Something about maybe the two of you being together will cause some controversy. And they're, they're a little bit worried about that. I don't know in what way. Um, but it's like, or maybe they know that it's going to upset this queen of wands, or they know that maybe there's some people that don't want to see the two of you together. I don't know, but it's like, this person tries to like stagnate you. I really feel like this person purposely tries to stagnate you. Yeah. It's like, they, it says, slow down. Let's take our time. They want to like, ha they want this with you, but they want this on their terms. Like they want it at their pace. Um, I forgot to pull a few timing cards. So I will do that really quickly. I'm not going to do too many of these. Tell me about what they need to know in regards to, uh, yeah, they, I see the, yeah, right on. So you have wish fulfillment coming in and I saw that it's not too late card. So you may feel like something is never going to happen for you, but spirit is saying that if it's meant for you, it will always be for you. So it will happen when it's supposed to happen. It says right on time, a wish will be granted. Wishes, healing, miracles go deeper. 
finalize and tie up any loose ends. So I feel like that's, I mean, you guys may be doing that, but they're definitely finalizing and tying up some loose ends. But it says, when you're happy, achieving true independence, content, not looking auspicious. Only you can save yourself. Um, this person needs to free themselves from something and they definitely need to make up their mind. But Spirit says they will very soon. All right. Very soon you will see the situation resolve itself, crush your limiting beliefs. I feel like that's more this person. They're the ones that have been stagnating thing. And then there's that card that I saw when I was shuffling. So yeah, it's like they need to overcome these limiting beliefs that they have that have been keeping them from taking a leap of faith on this connection. This person maybe doesn't feel good enough for you. I don't know what else, what other limiting beliefs this person has going on, but there's something about them not feeling good enough for you or not feeling like they can meet your standards or live up to your expectations or something like that. Or like they just, they have feelings of inadequacy that, and that's their, they need to f be more happy within themselves. They need to find happiness and true independence. This is like a codependent person and they need to learn to, you know, get out of that. But yeah, we have released desperation here. So it says free yourself from your past mistakes by forgiving yourself for what you have done or what you went through. And it says, it's like, you guys are very close to something happening here. It says you, you're almost there. Don't give up. If you keep following the same path, you will soon reach your goal. But Spirit is saying that you, this is a big one. This right here, guys, live differently. Real progress calls for not just new thoughts, but new patterns and doing things differently to make the journey more fulfilling. So you're going to have to have new thoughts in regards to the situation and new patterns or just new actions or how do I say that? When you, when it comes to handling this situation, you're going to handle it, have to handle it, handle it different than you have before and forgive yourself for the times that you didn't maybe act in your best interest when it came to this situation or you you made a mistake or you need to forgive yourself for like when you didn't follow your intuition or something like that for some of you you have a brand new person coming towards you it says a new relationship is entering your life will be a reflection of your new found, found authenticity um partnership i feel like Spirit is saying that this new love could be this person coming towards you in a new energy. Because I said, what does that mean? I asked, what does that mean for this connection that came through in your reading? And it says partnership. So allow su supportive partnerships into your life and you will attract mutually loving relationships that will fulfill both of your needs. So it seems like this person is going to be coming towards you. Like if they were, if, if, if it was one sided with this person in the past, go in the future, it's going to be completely different than that. Like, if you feel like this person was selfish and they one, two, three, four on the camera, as I'm saying that. So that's the confirmation there. This person's going to come towards you and give you that balanced relationship that you deserve, the mutually beneficial relationship that you deserve. But right now it says vibe check, low vibrational energies are affecting your ability to manifest your best life. Guys, this is this person. I'm telling you, they're realizing that there is a feminine energy around them. It can be more than just one person, but there's, they're, they're, there are low vibrational people make like, first of all, they could be also hindering some of your manifestations because they're low vibrational. But I told you this person's going to be realizing that these people that they're surrounding themselves with, or this one fem feminine energy has been blocking them from manifesting the life that they deserve. And that's when they're going to put call judgment on that or the, not the life that, I mean, yeah, the life that they deserve, but the life that they desire is what I'm trying to say. And it's like, they're going to call judgment on that situation. But it says low vibrational energies are affecting your ability to manifest your best life. Clear the negative energy that is attached to you. So they're going to be doing that. Yeah. Things may be hidden from you. Make sure you double check everything and be careful who you trust at this time. I'm telling you, there's somebody around them that is not like that has been working against them or not in their best interest. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this. It's like that's what they're going to be waking up to. Mm, interesting. All right, guys. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.